York City, 2008. Eight years past the millennia already. Here at the tip of Manhattan, we are at the center of it all. For those of you who don't know, City Hall is right here. The courthouses are back there, and standing proudly over there is Lady Liberty. The stock market and Wall Street is over there. You know, you never stop to think about how Wall Street got its name. You think Wall Street, you think men in suits and ties waving bits of paper around. But they actually built a wall. It used to be the city limits, a barrier. And they built that big old wall to keep the Native Americans out. Well, we always randomly picked to do a project on African burial ground. Go team! African burial ground. Yeah, yeah dead people. It's going to be boring. Oh, no, it's not. That's our history. Yeah, shouldn't you be excited? I mean, it's the African burial ground. Me? Excited about more poor black people in chains? Yeah, it's going to be thrilling. Besides, I'm not African, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> Another one of those. Can we hurry up and go inside, please? Because next year in college, I'm majoring in Black Studies, and I am very excited about this. I'm going into this with a positive attitude. I'm positive, I'm optimistic. This is a little outside my comfort zone. <laughs> it's going to be boring. What does the past have to do with us? God. Why did you stop working? We found bones. some bodies the other day. I just thought you ought to know about it. There is no reason why this project should not push forward. Daddy! Morning, honey. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Daniel. Good morning, sir. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. Oh, did my wife tell you we decided to go with the marble countertops instead of the granite? No, honey, the granite <laughs> instead of the marble. No, we said marble, not granite. No, no. granite goes better with the stainless steel, remember? Uh, of course it does. <laughs> Are you working from home at all this week? Yes, honey, Tuesday and Thursday, just like every week. Well, not at all today. No, not today. Today's Monday, honey. You know my schedule. I have meetings at the bank all day today. Well, the reason I was asking was because uh, I need to run a few errands. That's fine. And. Daniel's going to be here all day. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Daniel, I'm back with the groceries. Why are there no knobs on these cabinets? <laughs> you wanted Italian knobs, ma'am? Yes, I did, and they are right there. No screws? Why don't you go to the store and get some screws? You can't mix American screws with Italian knobs, man. What? Why? <laughs> Different sizes, the metric system. Uh, oh, of course. So what's your uh, plan of action for acquiring these screws? What's your game plan? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait? We're waiting. We'll wait. Hi, honey. Home. How was your day? Great, thanks. Where's your, uh, where's your wedding ring? Oh, I don't know. I'm just noticing that it's missing. No, it was in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here. I mean, 
Is it around the sink? No, it was right there earlier. I don't have any pockets. Daniel, did you see her wedding ring? She usually leaves it by the sink when she's not wearing it. I haven't seen her all day, sir. Honey, have you been home all day? How is the bank? Bank is fine. You know, work is work. Had a little trouble getting home, though. There was some protest going on down the block. Oh, really? What about? I don't know what about. But they stopped all construction on that federal building that's going up down there. You know, that's just awful. That's another way they're trying to stop progress from happening yeah. here in Lower Manhattan. It is. How do you open these cabinets? <laughs> <laughs> Long story. Italian knobs. We're waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> I heard it was a burial. What, what's a burial? <laughs> oh, a burial ground, yeah. You know, I read about that in the journal this morning. You're right. They found some uh, colonial cemetery down there. Oh, oh, that's what the protest was about. It's a slave cemetery they found. Oh, that makes a lot of sense yes, to me Yes, those people are always looking for an excuse to complain. Excuse me, sir, what people? Uh, oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, um... The, the urban liberal, right? They have them on the West Coast, too. This whole, with this whole Rodney King thing that's going on. I mean, the guy gets beaten, and, and poor guy, really, gotta feel for him. And it's not like I have any opinions on this or anything, but they show it over. And, Excuse me? Yep. Here Excuse me? Thank Sorry, you. am I in the way? Oh, no, Daniel, it's just all terribly inconvenient. <laughs> and now they want to stop all construction on this building just because they find a few bones in the ground? I'm gonna go turn on the news. <laughs> Hopefully something new is on. <laughs> uh, guys, the knobs, they're right here. <laughs> Daniel, I, I have to apologize for my husband. He's <laughs> it's all right, ma'am, I understand. Well, thank you, Daniel. Thank you for understanding, you know, that means a lot to me. I'm gonna go upstairs and uh, look for my wedding ring. And if it happens to pop up anywhere, can you please put it back in the dish? Some things will never change. We are, we are, we are, we are, oh, oh, ah. City. Mortuary apartheid kept blacks separate, even in death. Hey, look at the mounds. <laughs> you mean the bumpy rolling grass? <laughs> That's where our ancestors rest. You mean they're buried right here? Yeah. How do you think they mow that grass? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Hey, look at all those symbols. See that one right there? That's Sankofa. The heart-shaped thingy? Yeah, that's Sankofa. I thought you were into this stuff. Sankofa means Look, Look to, to the, the past, past to inform the, the future. If we learn how to read, we get a mind of our own instead of getting kicked out of bed and into the fields every morning. And keep your voice down. It's bad enough he's in the state he's in. You want all of us to be strung up too? I'm not living the rest of my life as a slave. We can get out of this together. The only way we're getting out of here is by being six feet under. Well, I'd rather die than continue to live as a slave. There is a wall. And it's the tallest wall of all. They named a street for it. Where, Where numbers, numbers roll and eyes go blank. A wall of gold. What do we want? Respect yeah. the dead. What do we want? Now. Respect the past. What do we want? Respect the dead. What do we want? Now. now. It feels like money in the bank. No justice. No justice. No justice. No peace. 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 No justice. No
when that wall is gone, no matter which side you were on, can you say you took a piece of that wall down? Don't you want a piece of that wall? She was shot in the back with a projectile entering in her left scapula. The backs of her ribs are fractured as though by the rambling projectile. None of the fractures had healed and were doubtlessly related to the cause of her death. I remember when they brought the bones back. After 12 years at Howard University, they were finally laid to rest. There is a wall, and it's the oldest wall of all, a wall of fear. Keeps danger out, desire in. A wall that bristles. Each time the warden brings back tales, inside we're starving. To buy the bricks, to build the sun, to bury love, to bar the door, to ban the stranger, and way down at the foot of that wall where the guards can barely see at all, a stranger is standing, not asking, not demanding, a stranger is standing with a hammer for your hand. Don't you want to live to see it fall when it comes round? When that wall is gone, no matter which side you were on. Can you say you took a piece of that wall down? Don't you want a piece of that wall?